Greetings, fellow Tarnished. It is the Ash Heritor, and welcome back to Elden Ring. As you can see, we've changed up our attire a little bit. We are running with the Nox Swordstress garb. I farmed a little bit for. And I want to very quickly. Oop. Look at some of the um, differences. Lore-wise, I haven't actually looked. Maybe there are no differences. Maybe there are. Crown worn by the Swordstresses of the Eternal City. These women are the personal guards of the Night Maidens. And the silk hides their eyes. Long ago, the Nox invoked the ire of the Greater Will, and were banished deep underground. Now they live under a false night sky, in eternal anticipation of their liege, of the coming of the Age of Stars, and their Lord of Night. Age of Stars, huh? They're liege. Are they w awaiting Rani? Rani wants something down here, obviously. It's kind of a coincidence, right? Or otherwise it would be a coincidence that they're awaiting this Age of Stars. Rani's fate is tied in with the stars. She is a lord. She's one of the royal family. Interesting. Alright, Twin Crowns worn by the Night Maidens of the Eternal City indicates the highest clerical rank and hides the eyes with silk. I think, just generally speaking, I like the look of this one a little bit better. Um, so in the last episode, we made it all the way to the Noxtella Waterfall Basin. So we went all the way around. We basically traveled this uh, upward route and then dropped down and ascended a little thing here. However, we did not explore this area beneath. So that's what we're gonna do right now. And we're gonna be fighting more of these uh, ant riders. You should also note, I am using the Halo Scythe, which I've upgraded. It's fucking awesome. I really like this weapon. I mean, not only does it look cool, uh, is it the most practical weapon ever? No. But its design looks like it would at least be wieldable, which is good enough for me. Um, a couple of other things that I have done. I have upgraded the Night Maiden and Swordstress puppets to rank 7. So I've done a fair bit of upgrading, and we have now the, um, yeah, upgraded version of that uh, summon right there. Uh, let's actually create a couple more potions. I don't need oil pots anymore, I realize. I'm not doing fire damage, so I'm going to throw this at you. Here, have an oil pot. All right, you didn't notice. That's fine. So we're going to use different types of pots. Uh, I'm probably going to go back to holy pots, just because they're good for my faith build. And... And I can also go with these poison pots. They're, they're also good. Uh, just in general, to have. It's nice to be able to inflict the poison status very quickly, and then we can also remove it from ourself when it inevitably gets put onto ourself. Right. So here's why this is an awesome weapon. And, oh, the ant blocked it. Dead. <laughs> okay, you got me. Ow, ow, ow. N none of this, none of this I am happy with. Uh, you know, I was up there being all cool and everything, but... You had to harsh my jive. Alright, I'm gonna go up here. We got ourselves another ant rider down there in two different looking ones. I actually killed them quite a few times trying to get them to drop their headpiece because they have a different headpiece to these. Um, they're also male rather than female. Um, but alas, they didn't drop their, their headpiece. Um, and trust me when I say I killed them a lot. Alright. Um, oh, we killed the ant this time. Alright, well, we'll kill her now. Oh, she blocked one. Also leveled up my mind. A fair bit. We have a lot more FP to work with now. I haven't gathered any of the items in this area, and I have not progressed farther than this point. I've only killed these ones here, so rest assured I haven't explored beyond. Ooh, well done. You, you ducked into cover. See, they have really cool-looking headpieces. Like that, that hat, I want it. Ow. And these guys are actually quite tough. They have a ton of reach. They do a lot of damage. Um... You may notice something, and I'll explain that in just a second. 
Nope. Oh, well, that almost hit you. Yeah, the Mikola's Ring of Light, this Ash of War, is absurd. It's, it's really good. Ooh, clever dodge. A trade. So, you'll notice that I'm absorbing something from them. I'm absorbing FP, and the reason I'm absorbing FP is because I have the ancestors the Ancestral Spirit Horn equipped, which is one of the boss items. I'm sorry, the Remembrance items. Um, which I'll quickly reread the lore on that, because I did um, turn that Remembrance into this, instead of getting the Winged Antler Staff, because I wasn't going to use that. Uh, whereas this thing, I feel like, is actually quite good for my build. Item cut from the horns of the regal ancestor spirit. Restore FP upon defeating enemies. A number of new growths bud from the antler-like horns of the fallen king, each glowing with light. Thus does new life grow from death, and from death one obtains power. Indeed, very kind of tied in with the Erd Tree, though... I recall there being something about the ancestors being detached from the Erd Tree, that they had nothing to do with it, which is interesting. Let's gather these items. Smithing Stone 6, I'll take it. Drawstring Holy Grease, alright. Holy Grease, huh? So the advantage here, with this weapon, is, I believe we can actually use Greases with it. Let me check that. Okay, my controller is... Why does it do this? It's very annoying. Okay. Um, I just want to check to see if we can use greases. Um, because if we can, that's going to be very useful. Because with the fire spear, we couldn't. Okay, we cannot hear either because it's a holy weapon. Alright, unfortunate. It already does holy damage, so. No greases to be had. It just didn't have an obvious uh, effect. So, that's why I was testing to make certain. Who got back here? Nothing by the looks of it. Maybe something on this side of the ruin? Something on the edge of this abyss that drops down into a dark sea of some kind. Very cool. I think we already checked here, actually. This is going over... Yeah, that's that, that bridge we've crossed. But as you can see, there's stuff down here that we have not seen, and... Hello. Those are snails. What are the snails doing here? They're not the magic snails. These ones look different. They are targetable. Man, they're so weird. They don't seem particularly, like, dangerous, so I don't know what they do yet. Uh, I mean, they're everywhere. They just hiss at you. I feel like they're not very threatening, but... Again, who knows? What are you doing? Yeah, none of that. Okay, holy damage is quite effective. Yeah, we got ourselves an item here. Oh, hi. I see. It's this type of enemy. <laughs> oh, they spit poison. Oh, wow. That's a one-hit kill. That's really good. Okay, power attack very solid against them. All right, what about you? How much is power attack going to do against you? I'm going to show... Um, what the actual, like, skill... Yeah, so it's a Halo Scythe plus 7. This is a somber smithing stone item, so plus 7 should be equated to something around, like, plus 14, right? Okay, we're getting shot by something. I don't know by what. We need to move away, but it's going to do a lot of damage in the water. What's shooting us? Really? Could they do that before? I feel like they could. Yeah. I feel like I'm just... Okay. Kill that. Alright, we got ourselves an ant on the approach. Okay, we're, we're in a little bit of a danger zone, because we have no stamina, but I don't have the room or place to recover. Okay, I do, actually. Okay, hi. Ow. Their, their whip showtells are really hard to predict. Hey, you dropped something. What did you drop? Uh, another sorceress crown. Don't need that anymore. So you... Get away, or you electrocute the lot of us. Nope. Okay, pull away, pull away, pull away. Now. Okay, that does damage them, which is good. Oh. Straight up, 
they can chain kill themselves with it. That's good. It's really handy. All right, so we can just get that one and then leave. All right, easy enough. No, it didn't kill that one. Why not? Hey, that's the last of them. Not too bad. We got a uh, rank 10 great rune and some more ghost glove work here, which is good. Ghost glove work eight. I actually need that. I believe. And another one. Holy crap! Will you stop it? Right. I'm just trying to nicely explore this place. You don't need to be throwing these. What is this? Oh. No. No, I was about to be like, this is where we fought the, uh... The Dragonkin Soldier of Noxtella. Yeah, it was. Wait. We're above? I thought we were below. Or... No, it, it we were below. Now I'm... I'm confusing myself on no end. Alright, asshole. I've had enough of you. I'm sorry, that was rude. I shouldn't have called you that. I'm sure you're a perfectly nice fear hurling mimic uh, most of the time, and you're just having a bad day. Uh, I really, I really apologize for for insulting you. You, on the other hand, are just a jerk. No, no redemption for you, lightning mimics. God, disgusting. Okay, kill you. Run away. That, oh god. There's so many of them. They're standing up here shooting at me. They don't stagger either, which, you know, makes sense given what they are. More lightning mimics. A lot more lightning mimics. Okay, I wanted to go in here. And look at what this is. Is there anything on the ceiling? No. Let's uh turn on our lantern. Oh, golden centipede. Aside from that, there's nothing to gain in here. Just a golden centipede. You know what? I'll take it. Golden centipedes are rare. Okay with that. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, crap. There's like 8 million of them in here. Okay. Alright, hopefully we just got them to chain kill themselves. I think we did. We did not entirely, unfortunately. Okay, now we did. Bye! Oh, you didn't die. Why is that? It doesn't always work, huh? I just wanted that to kill myself. That was a mistake. I did not have to get that to kill myself. Alright, we're taking a little bit of flask attrition here. Yeah, down there. That is the, uh, the Dragonkin Soldier boss arena. Interesting. We were looking down at... Huh? Holy shit. I thought... We were at that place, but it turns out that's even further down. But we've been there. The Waterfall Basin. Indeed, we have been there. And somehow, somewhere, I got very turned around in my assessment of this place. It's cool, actually. I like I like it when, uh, when the environment messes with you. Okay, we got ourselves a uh, golden leaf? No, what, what are they called? An Erd Tree Sapling. Golden leaf? What the hell am I talking about? Erd Tree Sapling up there. We went in here, right? These ghostly flowers look really cool. We'll say. They're not really flowers. They're more leaves. It's almost like a ghostly mold growing on the leaves, actually, which is... Uh, Interesting. I wonder if there's uh, something about that. Checking, making sure it's all good. Yeah, can I uh, tab back to the game? Thank you. All right. Hopefully none of you guys saw any of that. All right, we've got some ants. None on the walls, just just on the ground, which is awfully nice of them. Um, but I'm not messing around with these, so we're gonna use our. Uh, Two hits. Yes, please. Sign me up. Damn it. Okay. 
Okay. Easy. Very easy kills. All right, and they restored a flask. I'll take it. What do we got on this side? This is a drop down into another dark sea. There's a lot of those. Can we get an underwater level? Or something? I don't know. That'd be a lot to ask for, but tell me it wouldn't be cool. Are we at the other side? I feel like I've because we saw the corpse there. Normally they have loot. I've definitely already grabbed it, so I feel like I have already been here. This was actually the way down from the uh, bridge. Not not bridge. The lift that I took. Yeah, it must be. Well, Mimic, you win this round. Not this one, right? No, that's the end of you. Okay, I gotta remember, I can two hit them, but I don't need to swing at them a third time. Alright. Um, I'm gonna kill the ant first. They're a little bit more dangerous. Okay. No, 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 other button. Okay, hi. Oh, and a ground stab. To the death. Brutal. Feel bad for killing them. Because they look so damn cool. But it's got to be done. Oops. Ouch, of juice. Alright, let's drink some more juice. Blue juice, blueberry juice. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see how that uh, curved around? How it it shot it out behind the target, and then it fucking came back and hit the target. Amazing tracking. That's really cool. All right, jerk slime thing. Ow! All right. Misjudge the reach. Again. You just, you know, you see the weapon, you don't think it's got reach. Obviously it does. We know it does, but... If you're not thinking about what you're doing... Okay. Then, uh, yeah. Get caught out by it. It's a devious enemy design. Really like it. I want that weapon, also. Said it in the last episode. Shotels are some of my favorite weapons in history. A bit disappointed at the. Oh yeah, we have the two ant bastards here. Okay, I don't really need to do anything further here. Uh, there's the scarab. Right. So I missed this one last time. I'm gonna get it this time. I don't think it drops anything. I think it's just a uh, cerulean, but on the off chance it does. Yeah, no, it didn't drop anything. So basically, we can go back up then. Because they weren't guarding anything. Oh, well, that's one way to, you know, get down. I wanted to go down there. Because there's something down there for sure. But, um, let me tell you now, that's not the way to do it. We need to get our runes, so I will do it in the Noxtella Waterfall Basin. Which, uh... Can we get back up? Oh, Christ. Yeah, we go back up with this, right? And that... That is the next place that we explored. Okay that we need to explore still. Let's go back up, grab our runes. Oh, hi again. Hopefully I don't need to deal with any of them. I can just <laughs> not go off this. Second time, let's, let's not do it. Okay. I will grab these silver fireflies. They're uh, useful. Useful and not terribly common. Oh, hi, you're a mimic. All right. Let's go back inside and let's descend, shall we? And not jump to our deaths this time. It was exciting, but... Did I grab that? I feel like I did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I grabbed the, uh, the Golden Seed in the last episode, because I came down from there. That's when I found this tower, thought, oh, it must go up, but it actually, it goes down. Looking around, making sure there's nothing to, uh... Now, the real question is, is there something beneath? 
That's what I want to know. Looks like death. Okay. Well, here we have this place. We've got more ant eggs, which, uh, you know, just fills me with comfort and um, a nice sense of safety. You know, like that we don't need to worry about enemies on ceilings or any of that. No. Ant eggs are just a sign of a safe and lovely, lovely place where there's nothing to worry about. Isn't that right, FromSoft? FromSoft. What, what's behind the waterfall? If you can't see what you're going to, I, I've just been expecting there to be something. Like, I don't know. An enemy that's going to pop out at you, or so, something god-awful, right? Thus far, it hasn't happened yet. Which means that the chance that it will happen... God damn. This place. Uh, which means that the chance that it will happen is slim, but never zero. Hello? Anybody up here? We're gonna go check out the other waterfall. There's two more. It'd be, it'd be real clever of them to make one or maybe two of them safe, and then have the third one just be filled with something awful, like... Just some new, horrendous-looking enemy that triggers some sort of deep-seated phobia that makes you immediately want to turn off the game, you know? Something like that. But no. We're still safe. Nothing has happened yet. Okay, we cannot assume, however, that... That's gonna remain so. It's awfully dark. Oaks Glove Warp 9. I think we can upgrade fully. What do we have, actually? Um, that might be useful to do before we uh, proceed onward. We've got 9, 8, 7, 6. We don't have 5, but I don't need 5, I think. We've got 1, 9. That means I can upgrade one thing. Do I do that now? No, I proceed. I'll do that later. Alright, I've got the Nox, the Nox Maidens, the Night Maiden and the Swordstress ready to go, because Latena isn't going to be... No! You fucking wouldn't. Oh, God. I'm filled with unfathomable levels of disgust and loathing. Alright, we don't let them get near us. We kill them from afar. Oh, God. This is, this is so much worse than ants. I'll take ants descending on us from the ceiling. Oh, I hate them. I hate them, and I hate that Miyazaki decided, oh, let's throw these in the game. <laughs> All the Dark Souls fans will certainly love it. Oh, look at him, sitting there with his googly fucking eyes. Ugh, ugh. Die, 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 die. They inflict madness. No, they don't. I'm inflicting madness onto myself. Let, let's be real here. That there, that is death. Okay? Tell you what. I have a solution. Equipping the uh, raises vitality. That's my save against death. It means that'll build up less quickly in case we get overwhelmed. Hold on. We've been here. <gasps> we've been here, but we've only seen it from above. I was just starting to recognize it. Remember here? It was like right around here. There was a lookout point that looked out over a giant red lake. The heart of Aeonia, I believe. At least it looked like Aeonia. What are you? Baleful Shadow. This is what Rani told us to hunt down. Alright. Well, let's 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 get busy then. Alright, jerk. Have a laser. Oh shadow. Thou art the last. Oh. Tell the two fingers that Rani the witch cometh oh. to rend thy flesh with oh a my fateful God. wound, ne'er to heal. The helpful shadow. Holy shit. This is, um, it's Blythe. It's fucking Blythe. It's just as EG said. Blythe has been driven mad by the two fingers. I knew it. The two fingers are sus as hell. Here. Have some madness. Okay, that didn't work at all. I think we're gonna die. 
He is aggressive as hell. All right, I, I was I was dicking around a little bit. Uh, let's not do that. But I want to use it. God damn it, I want to use Howl of Shabriri. I don't know if he's a tarnished though. Like he's a he's a red invader, so normally they are tarnished. But he's also not human, so probably not actually a tarnished. So, were we able to summon? I don't think so. Oh, for fuck's sake, I have to go through these guys again? Alright, dickheads. I know there's one to my left. I'm aware of it. You're not. Uh, disgusting! They're so gross. Their effect looks cool. The curse mists? That looks really cool, though. Oh, man. Can you get that? Like a spell that allows you to actually do that? The Basilisk Breath? be fucking cool. Alright, they're not that bad. I just hate them. Alright, I really hate them. In case you couldn't tell from my previous tirade. Alright, Blythe. It's you and me. Didn't need to come to this, but apparently it did. Have some, uh, spinny discs. Or not. You can also not have the spinny discs. Here, now have them. I'm sure they'll hit you now. Um, I mean, it's effective. I'll give it that. Okay. Not bad. Oh, you, you jerk, you healed. I mean, why wouldn't he? I'll heal. Okay, we'll do this. I mean, if he's gonna take it slow and come to me, you know, inches way towards me, I'm gonna... I'm gonna throw frisbees at him. Really, it's a fun activity. I don't know why he's upset about this. Beautifully fought. Not really, My actually. It was more of a challenge than I envisioned. No. Now I can finally stand before them. This is farewell, my dear. Tell Blythe and E.G. I love them. Discarded palace key. She said it was beautifully fought, but really it wasn't. That was actually just kind of disgusting. <laughs> Admittedly, the AI was dumb. Um, he just stood there and took it. <laughs> like, if he'd, have, if he'd have rushed me, we'd have had a fight on our hands, and I was expecting him to do so. So that's why I kept doing it, and it was only the last couple that I was like, okay, maybe, maybe this is just it. <laughs> maybe he's letting me kill him. We'll say that. Maybe there's enough of Blythe left in there to realize, no, this isn't what I wanted. We'll, we'll say that. That's, that's our excuse for what happened there. Alright, she gave us the discarded palace key. Which I'm going to go out on a limb and guess that it's a key item, because it's a key. Right? Uh, look at that. I was right. Key to treasure chest for carrion princesses. Huh? A key discarded by Lunar Princess Rani alongside her very flesh. Opens a treasure chest passed down to carrion princesses. It is said to be found in the Grand Library of Rhea Lucaria with her mother Renella. Oh yeah, that treasure chest that we couldn't open. Okay. That's cool. Exciting. I'm sorry about the bullshit fight. Um. Yeah. If if I could do it over, I would actually like just hurt him with that and then fight him properly just to see his move set. But yeah, no takes backs. I've done it. He's dead now. Ronnie is gone. Interesting. She said she loves them, which is nice. Even though she had me kill one of them. But I guess he'd gone insane, so it's fair. Up, huh? So, remember how I said that this was that red lake area? Well, it wasn't, but maybe this will lead us to the... Lead us down to the red lake area, huh? It keeps going down! Holy shit! It's just... It's forever. Okay, this isn't very far, but... Indeed! I was right. Here it is. The Lake of Rot. Pretty cool. I think we can unequip the Prince of Death Pustule and equip something for immunity. <laughs> As I feel like... This is gonna be a rough area. Like, that Lake of Rot? Oh god, we can't... Oh no. We can't use horse yak thing. 
Can we walk here even? Oh, this place is ominous. Like, you can't see the bottom. Map for the Lake of Rot. Holy shit. Oh. Oh, this is a big area. This is, this is bigger than I thought it would be. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cool. Alright. Yeah. What a fucking shocker. We get Scarlet Rot from the Lake of Rot. What has good immunity? We need gear with good immunity. Our, our current gear actually provides solid immunity defense. Um, but I would guess the Clean Rot armor provides more? No, it doesn't actually. So, actually the Nox Maiden set is... We don't even need to really change. Um, the only thing I will change is... Equip this. So that should up our immunity. What is it, actually? Let's check our status here. Our immunity is sitting at 100 and f uh, technically 456. And we're still racking it up that quickly. That's insane. That's bonkers, those enemies. Bean Rot Knights, I would guess? No, Ancestor Followers. What the fuck are they doing here, and why are they just chilling in the rot? Question is, which way do I go first? Do I go this way first? We skirt around one edge? This is a freaky looking tree. This is gonna suck, let me tell ya. This is gonna really suck. Oh, can't jump up here. Well, rot it is, Aeonian Butterflies. Yep, we got it. Here it comes, and Scarlet Rot doesn't mess around. Look at how fast that is ticking our health down. Holy shit. Um, flame cleanse me. I mean, at least this works, but I can't keep this up for long. I don't want to waste a flask just yet. Alright, where to now? Along the edge? Like, we just run? Because we can't use horse yak thing. Which is insane to think about. Like, we have to go through this area. In the middle of Scarlet Rot. We just have to fucking tank it. Now, there are respites. Nope, not what I wanted to do at all, but okay, it's fine, it's done. There we go. Let's do this. Oh no, Basilisks! Fucking great, just when I unequipped the Vitality Charm. Here they come. Uh, we should be okay. This is a big enough area to fight them. I just don't want to use any of my FP, unless I absolutely have to. Fuck, we're dead, we're dead, we're dead. No, we're not, we're okay. We're close to dead, that's for sure. Here for no, get out of there. I do not want to die here. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you so much. Somber Smoothing Stone 7. Whoa. This place is horrible. Right? No horse yak thing. Jesus Christ. Really gonna make us do this. Let me jump up here? I don't think so. I'm wasting my time. Um... Yeah. Yeah, this is, uh, this is gonna be rough. Let me tell ya. Boost immunity. Temporarily. I can only- I only got one of them. I, I don't think it's gonna matter, to be perfectly honest. Like, it goes up so fast. And we already boosted our immunity twice. It, it's not having a, uh, meaningful impact. Okay, we're going. Just gonna tank it. This is how it goes. This is how it goes. We get up there. We're getting everything here. We're saving. Ooh, boy. Heal now. And then... Oh, no. Don't make me fight them here. While I have Scarlet Rot. You asshole, game. All right. Come here, you fucker. Here, have a nickel a ring of light. Get head. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them with every... No. None of this. Be poisoned. Die. Okay. 
Where are you going? You going down there? Alright, fine. Don't be like that. Die! You're the worst. They make us fight basilisks in here. Oh, what are they gonna do next? They gonna have uh, ancestral snipers? Oh, just really be the cherry on top for this place. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. We need to be on point with our pools. Our health and our uh, FP. What are you doing? Why are you here? Honestly. What, what, what purpose do you serve? I'm gonna kill him, because... Oh, for fuck's sake, there's an item here, too. Alien butterflies, what a surprise. Alright, well, well, we'll be up here for a second, and, um, we'll shoot him dead. Yeah, good. Got some significant damage there. Why are you out here? Yeah, I'm over here. You can come closer. Why are you not getting Scarlet Rot? Do you have an item that makes you immune to Scarlet Rot? If so, can I have it? There goes my controller. There goes everything. Let's uh, restart the recording. Just to make sure we don't lose out on it. What you doing? Oh, we're gonna get into an archery fight? I can win this. Because I can shoot faster than you can. And you're poisoned. So I technically don't need to be using those arrows. I can use regular arrows now. Also, I have cover and you don't. So... Really, you should be closing the distance. But since you insist on doing a ranged battle, I will humor you. And now you're dead. And you dropped something. Dropped a purple item. So you were important. What are you... Immunizing horn charm. Thank you! Okay. I knew he had something of use. Well then. Let's just let's stack the buffs. Ah, can't. Can only equip one of them. Fair enough. I mean, I'm not sure why you'd equip the other one then. But, alright. That's more immunity. And next refuge is over there. Let's go. I don't know what that is. I'm just expecting it to start moving. This is a stele. This is where we should have found the map, but we need to heal. We need to heal now. Okay, and we need to use Flame Cleanse Me before we die. Alright, that's good. We can use the heal spell. Now I can summon. That thing is moving. I fucking knew it. What are you? Oh no. I, I, I done goofed. Something, something's, uh, something's afoot. We got ourselves an arena. What the fuck? What is it? I know what it is. That is a dragonkin soldier. Almost certain of it. Okay. Um, question is, do I go and fight it now? I'm very hesitant to fight it now. Though, I have an idea. If I am going to fight it now, we can utilize our flak cannon. Great effect, I hope. We'll heal up. I will drink some cerulean juice, and we will summon Latena the Albanoric right here. She can... I really hope you're immune to Scarlet Rot. I really hope you're immune to Scarlet Rot. If you're not immune to Scarlet Rot, I'm going to be very sad that you summoned there. I think she is. I think, I think we're good. Okay. Quickly run to the platform. Don't want to get the rot again. All right, asshole. Get up. Are you dead? Do I need to take the item? I'm gonna wait for the rot to die down. You're still- you're- you're, you're okay there? You're just gonna chill there? Good. I want this item. I don't know what it is. It's gold. Yeah, I knew it. Golden Rune 7. No, it was a white item. Never mind. Alright, back onto the platform. Hello, Dragonkin Soldier. Knew it. Um, okay. How effective is holy damage? 
effective. I'll tell you what, I don't want to die. I really don't. More so than ever, because this is going to be a nasty, nasty, nasty boss run. We <laughs> die, and we're dead. Okay. <laughs> Fuck my life. Two shot it. Okay. Uh, we almost killed it, though, so I don't think it's that bad of a fight. There's a stake of Marika nearby, apparently. Hopefully it's not, like, in the rot. Oh! Where the... Oh, yeah! <laughs> Hello there! <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, never mind. This is, uh, 100% okay. I'll summon her here. Okay, she insists on s chilling knee-deep in the rot. That's, that's her choice. Who am I to question her? Lieutenant can do as she likes. She has, uh... Earned her place. All right, grab runes. First course of action. Um. Yeah, now what? We jump onto this platform, I guess. Maybe that will trigger it. Hello. Get Mikella's ring of lights going. We are effective. We, we do some damage. We need to just fight a little bit more defensively. Okay, that hurt. Now heal, please. He can two-shot me. Okay. Heal again. Like, I think it's an easy enough fight, providing we don't... Oh god, fall in the rock. Yeah, that would be bad. Let's not do that. Alright, let's give him these. Dead soon. Uh-oh, we're out. We ran out of FP. Bad timing. Okay, and it's dead. Not too bad. Died quickly, but killed us fast. <laughs> Which, uh... Oh! 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 That could be cool. That looks really cool. A weapon made by sharpening a gravel stone scale, thought to be the source of ancient dragon immortality, into an unclouded blade. Alas, the dragonkin soldiers never attained immortality, and as, and perished as decrepit, pale imitations of their skyborn kin. Unique skill: ice lightning sword. Call down a bolt of ice lightning into the blade, and bring it down upon a foe. We can use it. By the way. Doesn't scale with faith, though. So, we won't use it. But, cool, nevertheless. Now, let's grab these items. Ooh, see how fast that ticked up? Like, we have as much immunity as we possibly can, I feel like. Maybe there's a helmet that off- oh, there's helmets that offer a lot more immunity, actually. Maybe I should be equipping a helmet that grants better immunity. Though, really, we aren't that far from the maximum. I mean, that's 33. But does this work with our set? It's not the worst. And really, how big of a difference is it going to have? No, no. Fashion first. Fashion first, then practicality. That's the way of these games. We're unfortunately gonna get the Scarlet Rot. Yep, we did. Okay. Well. Flame cleanse me. Again. Like, it ticks up so fucking fast. Lightning proof dried liver. Well, that probably would have been useful here, but alas. So we're about to to get to this place. But there's something over here. Right? Did we go there? I don't think we went there. So we're gonna go there before we go to the next place. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the rot. Fuck it. I don't care. We'll, we'll flame cleanse me out, out through this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring me there. Bring me there. Fortunately, there's no refuge from the rot. Oh, God. Here we go. More fucking basilisks. Here, have an arrow. No? What about now? Seriously? There we go. 
Yeah, you, dickhead. Okay, switch back to the, uh, ring of light. Okay, he's coming. Problem, let's not stand in that. There's an item up there. Problem is, I can't run to that. Well, I mean, I can, but it's not a good idea. No, don't do that. Shoot him with an arrow. Miss. Shoot him with a different arrow. There we go. Yeah, you run right on over here. Yeah, here you go. Good, good. Uh-oh. One more. Hey, okay, needs one more. Die. Oh, my God. You asshole. All right, he's dead. He dropped something. What did they drop? Aeonian butterflies. I mean, makes sense given the location. What? There's, like, plants over there. Interesting. Basilisk weeds? Is that a thing? Oh, you dodgy bastard. Oh, fuck. Okay, fine. I'll fight you here. It's just one. Thank you. Probably. Yep. We're good. Okay. Scarlet Rot's died down. Is there anything? Doesn't look like there's anything that way. So we basically have to go there. We can come up here as well. I'm just going to sprint to this. And it looks like there's sunflowers blooming in the Scarlet Rot, which is unusual, but... You know, I guess they'll bloom where they want to. Smithing Stone, or Somber Smithing Stone 8. That's actually very good. I think that's one of the things I need. Now, question is, will soap work here? Nope. Does not remove the Scarlet Rock buildup. A shame. Well, um, this should, right? This does? Tell me it does. It does. Completely removes it, actually. Okay. What are they? Faded earthly flowers. What are you guys doing here? We don't need to worry about gathering them. At the very least. Because these are quite common. But we will go up here. Up on top of this. Nothing else to find up here. Just... Just a way up. And a run across. Drop down to anything down there? Doesn't look like it. So then we run across to here. Up to here. And this is the item that we want. And boy, let me tell you. We do not want to fall down there. No thank you. How effective will this be? Quite. Let's do it again. So they're all nicely clustered down there. They can all uh, go die together. Yeah. One down. No, he's not dead. He's alive. Get him again. Hey. Two dead. Great. Get more of them. Hopefully we don't madness ourselves here. Okay, we should we should wait a little. So we don't madness ourselves. Is there a uh, thing to reduce madness? Oh, this actually rejuvenating bolus actually reduces death blight buildup. That's cool. Um, here. Fuck me, Dad. Okay. I don't, I mean, I really like this ability, but that is something we need to keep in mind. Is that it has a distinct drawback. In that it is, uh, it makes you step forward. And that can be fatal. Right on on the boluses. Okay, so not to self. Be careful with that. You can... Oh, damn it. There's Aeonian butterflies there. I need to grab those. Like, I can't leave them. They're quite rare. Okay. Did we make it? We made it. Alright, what do we get here? Mushroom crown. Oh, delightful. Finally, we can cosplay as a mushroom. As I've always wanted, really. <laughs> mushrooms found growing all over the body. These overgrown mushrooms form a towering headpiece. Raises attack power with something... With something near... Raises attack power when something nearby suffers from poison or rot. Oh. 
Long ago, great lords served the Scarlet Rot. Perhaps such fungal bodies served as their crowns. Yeah. I mean, that that's a mushroom hat. Not much else to be said about it. Pretty stylish. But I'm going back to my uh, Nox Swordstress crown. Though, admittedly, mushroom hat probably gives very good immunity. Not as good as I thought it would be. Was this grant? 24. Okay, no, never mind. It's like double. All right, we're wearing it temporarily. I will be a mushroom. Like, is that noticeable? I feel like it's at least somewhat noticeable. Okay. Grab the uh, butterflies and uh, let's use flame cleanse me. More butterflies. Come here. We can go here, jump up onto this. Now where? Did we go all the way around? Like, that's the platforms that we were on, but what's over there? More fucking basilisks, by the looks of it. Uh, back to the platforms? I don't think we can make that. Got healing first, so. Heal, I shall. Okay. Switch back to fire, cleanse me. Um, because then we can bypass the basilisks. So I'm gonna go this way, and we'll arc around. Nah, we're not, we're not making it to the platform without getting to rot, unfortunately. It's just too far. But, alright, cleanse me. Good. Can jump to the next platform. Yeah, jumping doesn't help. Makes sense. Not sure why it would. What do we got over there? Is there loot? Don't think so. I think it's just a weird outcropping. Damn, this area is cool. Look, it's it's difficult, it's certainly challenging. It presents a uh, unique type of challenge um, that we haven't seen since the Farron Swamp in Dark Souls 3. Did Sekiro have something like this? I don't think so. No, I, I think it did. It did have like a poison swamp area, if I recall correctly. But what do we got past here, aside from more Scarlet Rot? There's a way up, long side. Let me go that way first. Always drop down, right? What is that? That's a scarab. We're dead. Fuck's sake. Okay. That is a scarab, though. And that's a lot of runes on the line. So let's not die. Oh, you put me here. Really? You didn't let me go back to the Stake of Marka, even though the Stake of Marka is much closer? Alright. Fuck you, game. Fuck you. Use as many flasks as is necessary. We have ourselves another item right there. It's interesting. Okay, I will use it now, since we're here. Uh-oh, what did that do? Excuse me? What did we just do? Did we summon another one out of the deeps? No, but we created platforms. And we... Oh. Oh. Uh... Okay. All right. So that that raised up. There's that platform there, which will allow us to get that loot, presumably without getting Scarlet Rot. So let's let's go. Should be able to get there quick enough. Yes. And we can make it. We can basically leapfrog across. Just, just a broken piece of a pillar. Nothing, nothing here. No. Okay. I'll uh, flame cleanse me just to reduce the uh, quantity of rot that we have on us. We'll grab this item. Warming stone, rank ten. Fuck you, basilisks. Come here. Get out of here. Oh, we're fat rolling. Why are we fat rolling? Die. Oh shit. Oh shit. Problem. Big problem. I'm running. 
Gotta find my runes. Gotta find my runes pronto. Because we could die here. Die here at any moment. Okay, the rot is upon us. Basilisks are over there. They're out of the way. Should be able to grab my runes and only have to use one potion before we get to this place. Okay, let me grab them. Very nice. You, sir, die. Come on. Okay, just doesn't want to be hit. It's fine. This is going to be a horrible scarab, but it better be something good. Okay, we got it. Whatever it is. Now, let's run. Somber Smithing Stone 6. Talk about not worth it. <laughs> right. That's, uh... All of our heals. Let's hope there's a, uh... Sight of Grace, please, Lord. Sweet Marika. Give me a Sight of Grace. we we'll probably take the Mushroom Crown off since we are out of the rot. And it does weigh us down a fair bit. I'm also gonna take off the shield. I, I know I equipped this, but I'm not using it. Okay, another one of these big old statues. Oh. I'm raised up over there. Huh? What are we supposed to do? What, what's what's the purpose of this? We can't cross that. Huh? But it won't, like, re-lower or anything. Oh, no, no, no. It will. It absolutely will. I get it. We've got ourselves another platform here. Can we make that without the rot? I think so. Yeah, for sure. That. Was alarming. I thought the whole lake was receding, but no, we were just going up. Classic. Alright, but here we are. We're now up on top of this. Couldn't tell you why we need to be on top of this, but... It's gonna form a bridge to something. And there's more of these... Yeah. Okay. There's a whole puzzle here. This is cool. What's over this way? Because that's definitely something. Question is, do we need to finish this puzzle to get to that? My other outstanding concern is... I need to level up. <laughs> I need to level up fast. Um, so, if I drop down from here, will I die? That's that's another question that I should be asking myself. We can find that out rather easily, though. So, first, I'll drop down a little bit to here. Will that work? Yes, please. You let me just tiny bit. Tiny bit, thank you. That was a little bit too far, but I'll take it. And uh, let's use one of these. Rainbow stones. Will you shatter? Or will you just... You shatter. Too high. We're too high up. And now we can't get back up, so I have to warp back. Alright. Well, warp back I will. Lake of Rot Shoreside. We've crossed it once. We can cross it again. Not so bad. And we'll level up. I will get more FP. This is giving me, like, 5 FP per, which is solid. I know they patched the amount of stamina and FP that you get from Endurance and Mind um, for the lower levels, which is quite nice. So what about here? Is there one here that I missed? A little uh, platform standy thing? There is. So that's going to come up. That's going to allow us to cross to that side, I, I suppose. Oh no! It's... It creates a platform for us to walk across. Naturally, the Basilisks are going to attempt to exploit this, but fuck the Basilisks. You, uh... Gonna do something, or are you just gonna stand there? If you're just gonna stand there, I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, of course.
course. So, a place to farm Aeonian butterflies, at the very least. Unfortunately, not a nice place to farm Aeonian butterflies, but why would there be a nice place to farm Aeonian butterflies? All right. They're worth a lot of runes, too. Okay. We've got that. That's a basilisk, right? Is that what I'm looking at? I have no idea. Could just be more ruins that are going to come up. Right, I'm going to run to this. I don't think there's a thing for me to press here. This is just part of the um, bits that are going to rise. But here, though, this is probably pressable, though it might be one of the ones that I've already poked. It is. Okay. So that leaves that one. Right? Those have to be basilisks. Eh, maybe they're not, actually. Alright, I'm going to this one. Maybe I already poked this one, but I'm not sure. I want to say I didn't. Okay, run, 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 run. Quickly pop this. Nice. This is going to cause yet another section of this enormous ridge to ascend. Very cool, though I don't know what good that's doing for us. I'm gonna go in there. Yeah, I'm just gonna run in here. Fuck the Scarlet Rot. Although, there's clearly something over there that looks interesting. Almost had enough for two levels, actually. I guess that Dragonkin soldier was uh, pretty thick on the uh, rune spectrum. Yeah, there's stuff all over the place. Heal. Gotta chug. Gotta chug. Grab the Aeonian butterflies. They're super rare. All right. Um, we can use this now, please. Hurry. Thank you. Right in the nick of time. What is this fucking tree? You're disgusting. Oh, and it bleeds, because of course it does. Um. Items. Yeah, I see items over there. We got that way, we got this way. I'm gonna go this way first. Just because, I don't know. I feel like it. There's a treasure chest. Anything on the ceiling. Anything that's gonna drop down on us. I bet there's a bunch of basilisks chilling just above where we can see, and as soon as I open this chest, like 50 of them are gonna drop into this narrow room. Okay. Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 22. Interesting. What does that give us? What does that allow us to make? Preferably a permanent immunity to scarlet rot. That would be great. Somehow, I don't think that that's what we're going to get. Rot pot, rot grease, and drawstring rot grease. All right. Well, we can now make scarlet rot stuff. That's a rot pot. Requires Aeonian butterflies. And rot grease. Sick. Dig it. More butterflies over there. Fuck okay, it. We're getting them. I will leave no butterfly ungotten. Hmm. Got ourselves the rot again. Isn't it lovely? Okay. No. Nope. Can we switch to fire cleanse me? Flame cleanse me, I should say. Here we are. Preserving boluses? I'll take it. We need those. Rather extensively. Ah, waterfall! But with rot! Delightful! Please tell me there's gonna be a Sight of Grace down here somewhere. Ah, look at that! There's a Sight of Grace down here somewhere. Praise Merica! Holy shit, this just- this goes further down. 
How far down do you go? Like, really? We're beneath the subterranean eternal city. This is... This is some profane capital vibes I'm getting. And that is awesome. Because the profane capital was probably my favorite part of Dark Souls 3. But I think this has gone on long enough today. We've begun our foray into the Lake of Rot. And it's a pretty cool place. Uh, we will continue on here in the next episode. I'm enjoying it quite a lot, even though it is... Well, difficult to traverse is an understatement, but... It's cool. I like the Swamp of Farron in uh, Dark Souls 3. I'm, I know most people hated it, but I rather enjoyed it. Um, so, it's only logical that I enjoy this Hell Swamp as well. But anyways, uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please leave it a like, you know, for the sake of the, uh, the algorithm and appeasing the greater will and all that. Um, yeah, you know the drill. Alright, Ash Harrod are out.